This happens to be a 2008 E150 Ford van. What we're going to do is an oil change today, oil and filter. It's the same vehicle if it's a 150, 250, 350, and these go from, I don't know, this is 2008, so it would probably go back at least 10, 15 years, all about the same. And you know, I'll show you exactly what to look for. See, it says E150. Now, if this was a pickup truck, it would just say F150 or F250, F350. They all have the same engine and the oil filter and where you change the oil from the oil pan is located in the same spot. Okay, so once you pop the hood, you just have to reach in here and hook the latch. And I'll show you where that is. See, here's the latch right here. So, you just have to move it over. Okay, and the hood latch, I mean, it's just got one of these little wires that hold the hood up. But that's standard for these type of vehicles. So, what you're looking for is where to put the oil in and where to check it. So, looking underneath, here's your battery. Here's where you put your fluid in for your window washers. And here's what it says, oil, SE520. So that's basically what their manufacturer suggested that you put in there. Here is for transmission fluid, how to check it. Okay, here's your air cleaner. And then we have, this is for your brakes. And this is overflow for um, the radiator. And um, what we're looking for is how to check the oil. Well, it, it has a dipstick, and I happen to know where mine is. It's way down over here. Shine a flashlight on it. That's where you check the oil on these particular vans. But they're all by, uh, about in the same place. So let's pull that out. One of these easy to get at. Okay, here we go. Now let's check it here. If we're looking, it says max. And we're down maybe an eighth of a quart or a quarter. I just give it the benefit of the doubt. Say it's the quart one quarter down. Well, let's see. So if it uses one quart of oil for 7,500 miles, that's doing pretty good. But this van only has 75,000 miles on it. So, but anyway, I like to change the oil exactly what it says in the maintenance manual. And it says 7,500, so here we are at 7,500. So that's what you need to know on the upside. Where to check it which is way down in there and then where to fill it okay so now let's jack the car up and so we can get to the bottom So we'll just lower that down. Now we'll go to the other side.
slowly lower it down. There. Okay. So now that I'm getting older, and I don't want this thing to fall on me, I will give it a check. So that's safe. So this is the bottom uh, of the engine. All right, first thing I do, let's look for oil filter. Here it is, right here. You can see it. It's a uh, screw-on type. Maybe I'm a little too tight, but we'll see. And then the other thing we want is the oil pan. So what we're looking for is this to, um, bolt here, which when you take it out, all the oil will come out. So. Uh, let's just do the filter first, which is right here. So, most of the time, well, not really. Sometimes they come off, like this one won't. Somebody tighten it a little, a little tight. I'm not mentioning any names. Okay, so in that case, you use a filter wrench. It's a pretty simple device, and it just cramps right around there. So, we want to go counterclockwise to take it off. So you put it on, and then this just clips over the edge. And then here you can give a little twist. Oh, here it comes. Good. And it'll come off. Once you get it going, it should come. There you go. See? So I have an oil pan here ready, so I'm just going to slowly unscrew this, and being that this hasn't, I didn't start it up for over a day, it should not, there we go, okay, it doesn't make that big of a mess, but anyway, you know, there's the oil spilling out of it, so we'll just leave that in there for a little bit. and. Here's where it goes. Here's the ring, and here's basically the screw. So now let's get the other oil filter, the new one, and we'll put that on. Well, here's the oil filter. I just pulled it out of there when I ate the truck. So let's just see if we got the right one. I happen to get a Wix this time. And here it is. So basically the same height but that doesn't mean anything because some of them are longer than other ones but the main thing is to see where the seal is looks like it's the same so we can put that on but what I normally do is take a little oil and put it on this rubber seal here okay so this is ready to go so we'll just uh, We'll set that over there and we'll put it on when we get back underneath the car. In the meantime, I'll get rid of this one. So, this is a Wix. But what I'll do is I'll put it in the description because I saw a couple of YouTubes uh, and these guys take these filters apart and look at them and talk about them. So, this way you get a general idea which one you might want to buy or not buy. All right, so here's where we took our filter from. I'll just wipe this clean. Put everything up here. And then the filter itself. I already put oil around here. Nice little thin coat. So just screw it up there. And tighten it as tight as I can get by hand. There. That way, somebody else, when they're changing it, could take it off without putting the wrench on here. So, it just goes on really like that. so but I don't want to use this wrench to tighten it. All right. Now, the next thing is let's drain the oil. There we go, we got our pan under there. Let's see what size this is. Ah, look at that, I got it first time. That is nine, oh, five inches. That's a five inch. 
Okay, so remember when we're taking it off, it's counterclockwise. Now, this oil is going to go out this way, but it's also going to drip down. So make sure you got the pan set over there. And there it comes. All right, so we'll just wait for all that to drain off. So what I do, not everybody does this, but here's your drain plug. I use this blue RTV gasket maker. And you don't have to do this. I just do it because I just do it that's all I don't want it to leak and I just put a little bit all the way around here not much yeah, that's probably that's enough just put a little bit there wipe the rest of it off and I'll let this dry for maybe 10 minutes and then I'll put it on and like I say, some people do it, some people don't. Uh, I don't know. I just do it. That's it. My car. Okay, so you can see we're almost done here. Wipe that off. Get my other plug. Put that in there. Always start these by hand. If you cross the threads, I feel sorry for you. Okay. You don't have to over tighten this. It's not going anywhere. And there it is. So, um, on the bottom, or drain the oil, put the plug back in. And then over here, we put a new fill thread. So, that's all there is to do on the bottom. So now, let's lower the, the truck down. I highly recommend them. Okay, for people who have never done this before, so you can, or if you've done it, you just want to check again. This is the owner's manual. This is a 2008 E-Series Ford. So I want to check for uh, oil. So let's just look over here. Oil. See engine oil, 233. If I go to 233... And it says check engine oil make sure the vehicle is level turn it off and wait a few minutes for it to drain and then they show you where it is but you would really have to look pretty hard but good thing they did and they show you the dipstick the min and max and then here's a picture of where to put it in and then here is the oil recommendation is uh, 530 for gas engines and the 530 oil provides a maximum fuel economy and durability performance meeting all requirements for your vehicle's engine okay so that's what they tell you there and then if you go farther where it says maintenance and specs if you look through here it'll say engine oil 6 quarts 530 or 520 so you can you know a lot of information is right here so let's go and put oil in this truck okay to put oil in remember uh, this says SE 520 has got a little symbol on here whatever don't put it in the washer fluid 
this guy. Make sure you check, and it'll tell you 520. So. So I'll put five quarts in here, and then I will go check the dipstick and see where it is. And then I'll know how much more to put in here. Now when I used to work at a, a garage when I was in high school, I would take these, uh, you know, they came in cans years ago, and see where it's just barely dripping. What I would do is set those on the side for myself and put it into a different container and then I'd get free oil over the course of a month. Alright, so now that I put five of them in there, let me get the dipstick and see what it says. Let's see, so where are we? Well, it says we're a good one quart down. So what I'm going to do is start the engine up because we know there's no oil in the oil filter so I have to go through the filter and then I'll let it sit for a few minutes and then we'll see how much more we have to put in there okay so what we're gonna do now is start the engine and I want you to look over here on the oil gauge Okay, so the engine started. Now the oil has run through the filter and has given us oil pressure. The next most important thing is to check and see if it's leaking. So we'll look at the oil filter and oil pan, and there's no leak, so we're good to go. Okay, so we started the car up, let it run. We checked to make sure that um, it doesn't leak. Now let's check and see how much more I need. Make sure you press it all the way down to the end. I'll just wait a second, it's close enough. Now let's see what it says. Where are we? Okay, see, so we're way down here, so it needs at least a quart of oil, and then we'll check it again. Okay, so this is the last time. Here we are right there right on the max so we're all set we can put this all together button it up and away we go okay so make sure take your funnel out and put your cap back on the oil filler and there you go So just to recap this, there's your location of the dipstick, here's where you put the oil in, and on the bottom you just look for where the filter is, and you have to replace the filter and drain the, take the drain plug off, drain the oil, put it back in, recheck it several times, and keep on doing it until you get it right. And you know, this is a great project for people that are just starting to work on cars. Gives you a little confidence, you know, so you can move on to other things. I mean, I've been doing this since I've been 14, so this is all second nature to me, nothing. So since the city that I live in takes the oil, and they actually give you these milk cartons, it's amazing. But a lot of auto parts store will take recycled oil.
so you get rid of it. 